So everybody wants to know, how many hours a day do you actually need to study in medical school? Well, I'm gonna tell you, it's a lot. <laughs> Especially if you wanna do well, it's gonna be a lot. You have to treat it as a full-time job or maybe a job that you're doing a little bit of overtime. Let me break it down for you. You have a lecture, and for us, it was one hour long. For me, it would take a minimum of two and a half hours to go through all that material and really understand it. And we had two lectures a day, so that meant a minimum of five hours of understanding the material that was said in that day. But granted, that's just the minimum. Sometimes it would go up to six, maybe seven hours if the material was really hard and it was a topic that I didn't really understand. So outside of that, you have to re review all the material that you've covered in the past. And the way I did that was through Anki. So I was doing a minimum of roughly three hours of Anki every single day. That's how long it took me to go through my Anki deck. And honestly, I didn't have as many cards as I think a lot of other students had. I was doing roughly three to 400 cards a day, and that took me three hours. So right there, that's a minimum of eight hours just in study time. And that doesn't include going to small group and participating in small group, prepping for small group, prepping for any kind of lab, and then outside of that, having time to do practice questions. So on a really productive day, you're looking at least 10 hours of solid work. Now this may seem really overwhelming, it probably is, but personally, I moved through the material a little slower. I went in crazy detail because I didn't want to have any gaps in my knowledge. I wanted to do the best that I could, and that was the amount of time that I was willing to give. And it paid off. I got an A. But there's some students who had other priorities in their life, like family and kids, and they had to set aside a certain amount of time for their other priorities, and I think that's a sacrifice that some people have to make. It's have no life <laughs> or have an A. <laughs> and there's definitely ways to kind of speed up the process, definitely being more efficient with your time while you're going through the lectures. Some people might even pre-read. I didn't. I felt like my schedule was so packed already and I enjoyed the way I studied that I didn't want to change it. And I'm luckily I didn't because it paid off. So I don't mean to scare you. In most medical schools, especially in ours, you don't jump to eight hours or nine hours or 10 hours immediately. They start you off really easy. You may be only doing like six hours a day, maybe five hours in the beginning. And then as the exams get harder and harder, it will ramp up to nine, 10, sometimes even more hours. Now, would you have weekends? For me, I usually didn't. I was working at least five hours on the weekends, maybe six. If I'm way far behind, maybe a full eight hours because there's just so much information. And if you wanna do well, you have to know all of it. I don't mean to scare you, but you can do it, trust me. It just takes a little bit of mental toughness, focus. Keep reevaluating your goals. Think about what you wanna do. Do you wanna be a awesome doctor? Then putting this much effort in is gonna be easy because it's something that you wanna do. And the awesome thing about learning all this information is that not many people get to do this. It's unique. It's a unique experience. It's a lot of fun to learn a ton of information about the human body and about health and illness and all the things that can go wrong. I thought it was fascinating. So putting in that workload for me wasn't as horrible as it sounds. Now for me, working like 10 hours at a job I didn't want or I didn't like on things that I didn't like to do, then it would seem horrible. But this is 10 hours of things that are interesting to me. <laughs> so I hope that you can take this information and go kick some butt.